Over 200 million people are without power, and this is from a massive cyber attack that has happened. Officials are saying that they believe foreign governments could possibly be involved, and could the United States possibly be involved? The United States has said very weird and suspicious statements, and they could possibly be a suspect in this event, all right? Total speculation, I have no idea, but just thinking back of the words that have been said over the past couple months and maybe think maybe the U.S. had something to do with this, all right? We conducted it, all right? So let's get into what's happening here. Over 200 million people are without power. And if this happened in the United States, 90% of people would most likely starve to death. This is due to a congressional report that came out in 2017. This is not my words. A congressional report was done on a massive North Korean EMP that would knock out the electric grid, and they estimated 90% of Americans would not make it through the first year from mass starvation. All right, so just another excuse. Get your chickens, guys. Get your seeds. Get your stuff ready for spring. Spring is coming up very soon, all right? And this could happen here in the United States at any moment, and it would be completely devastating because a lot of these countries, people know how to grow food. 90% of people in the United States don't know how to grow a single thing. That's why 90% of them would not make it. All right, so let's get into what's happening here. This is devastating news. The Pakistani minister says cyber attack could be behind a nationwide power breakdown. So the Pakistani minister said the government is probing the massive January 22nd electricity outage across the country from different angles. And you can see here when it happened, nearly 220 million people in Pakistan without power after countrywide outage. When something is countrywide affects the whole nation's power grid, it seems to be a bigger problem than just a failure, some kind of internal failure, electrical failure, it seems to be deliberate at that point, all right, when 200 million people go without power. That's devastating, and that's massive. And was the United States involved? We'll get into that in just a second. So it says, the Pakistani minister said the government is probing a massive January 22nd electricity outage across the country from different angles as the possibility of a cyber attack on the system cannot be ruled out. Quote, an inquiry will be completed very soon, although there are very few chances a cyber attack on the national grid cannot be ruled out. And he also went on to say, quote, there are concerns and have to be investigated if a foreign intervention was made via hacking our power distribution center. This is huge that this is happening. Uh, India, the second largest military in the entire world, I made a video on that, just had their military secrets and their weapon systems hacked as well and all their weapons secrets stolen. All right, so... When does this come to the United States? 200 million people without power. And the minister is saying that it could be foreign intervention that hacked our power distribution center. All right? This is getting serious. This is getting real. And the reason why I said that the U.S. could be involved, but it's total speculation, is that this weird statement, Pakistan summons the U.S. ambassador after Biden calls the country dangerous for having nuclear weapons. He actually said it was the most dangerous country in the world. Pakistan is because they have nuclear weapons that are unchecked and they have no regulations on their nuclear weapons and they're not really in any treaties or any pacts with the U.S. to watch over them. All right, so it's just kind of strange. This was October 15th. And then a massive cyber attack comes on Pakistan just just a few months later. All right, so it could be nothing, but it also could be this cyber warfare is ramping up. All right, and Pakistan is not close allies with the United States or with India, so this definitely could be a target. All right, we saw Iran get hit this week too by Israel. Lots of their military targets were hit inside of their country as well. Lots of weapons factories were destroyed this week. So lots of activity going on this week, and something is happening behind the scenes. And you can see here it says, this was caused, this is just more 
speculation that this probably was a cyber attack because they said the major power breakdown was caused by quote a frequency variation in the transmission system so the reason why that would point to a cyber attack is because first of all it was nationwide this frequency variation and the study here that i found from 2016 right and it says mitigation of frequency disturbances in power systems during a cyber attack and the whole study is talking about how frequency disturbances and frequency variations like suddenly overloading the grid or suddenly cutting capacity to the grid could damage the grid and cause um, the entire grid to go off because all the systems are compensating and they all get overloaded or underloaded and causes them to malfunction all right so it's saying that this would be the thing that they would do during a cyber attack on the grid they would cause frequency disturbances in the power system and that's exactly what happened in Pakistan here is they had a major frequency variation throughout the entire national grid affecting 200 million people just imagine if this happened in the US if 200 million people had their power go out at once it would be chaos it would be insane people would be panicking and it would probably be reason to be a little concerned all right you shouldn't be panicking but you should be concerned all right because this could happen in the united states at any time all right and this the key here is mass starvation and that's something that you can prevent that's the key you can get stocked up you can buy 20 pound bags of rice you can buy canned chicken canned tuna a uh, spam vienna sausages you can buy all that stuff you can get stocked up now you can buy storable food now all right you can prevent yourself from starving if this situation happens you can learn how to grow food you can get stocked up on seeds now i'm telling you get your seeds now before spring hits it's only if it's almost february now only a month or two until people are really gonna the gears are gonna start kicking in they're gonna be like wait a minute i need to buy seeds and they're gonna be out of stock a lot of the bulk seed suppliers all right so get prepared now get your seeds now get your chickens now that's the key here is mass starvation and these other countries they're at a disadvantage because their grid isn't as or their grid as isn't as secure all right not that our grid is very secure but they're probably more vulnerable probably more outdated but the people know how to grow food all right the people know how to be sustainable the people are used to living more sustainably and a lower standard where they can handle it if the power did go out all right so get prepared now guys get your generator get your gas cans filled up all right in france you literally can only fill or you actually can't it was you can only fill up one gas can but now it's you can't fill up any gas cans at all all right that's happening in france right now so get stocked up now guys you never know when this is gonna hit hit that like button hit that sub button hit those comments down below and hit that big old blessed day thank you guys